Hi, I'm Lou Freeman. My new video, Modern Life, is about how to create fashion and beauty images with headshots and lifestyle photography. When I'm using speed lights, which is one of my favorite ways of shooting still, I would like to find something that would change the quality of the light coming out of the speed light so they don't look so obvious and garish. So I came across these Rogue modifiers, and this is the Extra Large Flash Bender. It's a very easy to use product that will take your speed light and turn it into a, a master quality looking light, like a studio setup would be. So your speed light is a small source of light and it can have a tendency to be harsh and one of the things you can do to modify the light is choose a modifier that's going to give you what you're looking for to start with. If I want something that I can pull out easily and make a big change in the light quality that comes from a speed light and make it right for the subject that I'm shooting. The larger the source, the softer the light, so you can get studio quality even when you're outside on location. When you're shooting and you apply it to this, you just want to make sure plenty of space can stay in there so that it becomes a full use of the softbox itself. Should I choose at any time to have a clamshell set up, I can add the small flash bender. So placed at the exact same exposure, one to one ratio here, one high, one low, my subject will be here in the center and I have plenty of room to play with my background around her because of the table expanse. And I still have my fill underneath her chin and I'm going to bounce that light from here back into her face. So my classic clamshell beauty setup is something that I strive for. Your extra large flash bender can be manipulated into a strip bank. Many times when I'm creating the clamshell setup, I might likely choose to have two speed lights and turn them on a horizontal basis with the strip banks, one high and one low. So in this particular setup, I wanted to show you how to do a classic beauty setup with the speed lights and use the Rogue Modifier strip banks to help you achieve that. What I've done here is classic clamshell top and bottom. These lights are set both one to one ratio. And then I have two uh, flexible fills on the side to help fill in a little light on the side of the face. And there's one light behind her putting a little halo glow across the background. Also set the same power, but it's controlled in its spread or spread of light by the grid that's put on the background. So what's happening there is her face is lit like a cosmetic shot. She's filled in from all angles, um, and the feel is to go with the shine and the, the cool beauty of the uh, gown that she's wearing. And she just pops off the background because we've used a little glow across her shoulders. One of the most amazing qualities about using a grid is being able to control the spread or the spray of light. The quality of light is one thing I think about, and I think about the spread of light. If you want it narrow, a great way to control the scope or the spread of the light is through a grid. In many of my shoots in the studio, when I'm looking to create glamour photography, I am much more likely to add several speed lights and multiple grids. Many times when I'm looking to create an edge or a more interesting dramatic effect, I realize I can simply add these amazing gels to add lots of color. Sometimes I like to overlap the color to make an even greater effect. Very easily, you can drop the gel in between the grid and the grid holder and attach it to your speed light. Feel free to experiment with color. Overlap colors, 
and work with complementary colors to create a bigger impact when you're creating backgrounds as well as on the subject's hair or in clothing.